Uh, wow, I just I just realized I still have a million gold. I've been spending like crazy and still nothing has happened. So can I fast travel from here? Is that something that I'm capable of doing? What would happen? See, I do know that more blades can give me luck. Yes. Uh, specifically, specifically, Wolfric gives me a big old luck bo boost. However, I'm going to be really lazy about it uh, right now. So I can fast travel from here. Can I? No. It will not let me fast travel right now. Okay, I was I was wondering about that. Uh, anyway, let's talk to Fan Lenorn. Let's uh, continue on to the next continent. Oh, you can see you can see the tree in the background. That's very pretty. Master Rex, there's still quite some time left before we we reach Indol, and I'm sure you must be tired after all you went through in Mor Ardain. Perhaps you'd like to rest for a while. Rest. Good night then, Rex. Is it working? Yes. I can hear the Blades' voices now. Come with me. Akos has found something very interesting. Very well. Hey, look at this. Temperantia. Rumor had it that Morardane were conducting an excavation there. So, I thought I should check it out, and, uh... It's changed a lot, but this shape... That's a Judicium Titan weapon. Judicium? I know that name. Right. It was destroyed. A casualty of the Aegis War. And it's where the Flesh Eaters were created. Is that so? What now? If it's a threat to us, it should be destroyed. Or, we could make use of it. Damn it all! I can't believe this! Hello, Petroka. And a very good day to you, too. Don't tell me. No, don't worry about that. We got the goods, no problem. Well, that's something. So, why the temper tantrum? And that's how it went down. Long story short, we had to make a run for it. And you're sure it wasn't your ether field that was disturbed? A female blade from Indol. Jin, it's Haze. No doubt about it. Jin? Mikhail, how goes the work on the Marsanis? Oh, that's no problem. It'll take a little longer than I thought, but we'll get there. And Dakos? Where's the Aegis right now? Near the Leftherian Archipelago. She's on the move, maybe on a ship. Maybe they're heading for Indol. Hmm? Where are you? Temperantia. To buy some time. What about the Aegis? If that man gets into her head... Not happening. That's not how Mithra works. In fact, she'll be a big help to us. After all, only an Aegis can open up the path to the World Tree. Malus, there's a lot of work to be done on what we got from the Guild. You guys, stay here and help Mikhail. I'll go to Temperantia, alone. Fine by me. Very well. Take care of yourself. That guy. Amazing. It looks like a mountain of clouds. The Leftherian Archipelago. Indol is currently positioned beyond the Cloud Ridge. 
it would take quite some time to sail around. So we'll be traveling over land from here. I suppose not even a Titan ship could surpass such an obstacle. If we have to walk, we'd best get moving now. It's been a while. Hmm, must be five years. Rex, have you been here before? It's where I grew up. Me and Gramps are from Fonset Village. Just over the ridge here. <laughs> I wouldn't have pegged you for a left Therian. So this is your home. Well, I guess it'd be quickest for me to lead the way from here. We just need to get over the ridge, right? Indeed. The delegation from Indol will meet us there. Roger that. We'll leave it to Rex Rex. Lead the way. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't get an inflated head. We're just following the islands, you know? Hey, it's still dangerous. There's a lot of tough monsters around these parts. Well, I won't deny that. So, how are we going? Uh... What about Vonset? What about it? Will we pass it? I mean, we could go that way. Let's do it. I mean, let's visit your village. Okay, calm down. Someone's rather excitable. Not like normal, Pyra. Uh, I mean... Don't you want to see the place where Rex grew up? Sure, but I'm not getting my ears in a twist. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That route's probably one of the safest we could take. How about it? I'll leave the decision to you. Then let's do it! We'll head off as soon as we're ready. Yeah! Hey, what are you still doing here anyway? I volunteered to come along. I'm acting as a representative of the Empire. Is there a problem? No, not at all. The Praetorium has extended an invitation to the Aegis. We would not wish to conceal this information from the other nations. Oh, yes. That's the Praetorium for you. Impartial to the last, eh? Indeed. That's not a problem for you, is it, Nia? Sure, we're best friends now. I'll get over to throwing me in jail one day. Now, now, my lady. Morag and Bridget are on our side. That's much safer than the alternative. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Come on, Nia, lighten up. It was all a big misunderstanding. They helped us out and everything, remember? You're such an idiot sometimes. I'm an optimist. Call it what you want. You're still an idiot. Ugh. Okay, fine. It's water under the bridge. Go on. Friends, yeah? <sighs> Very well. Friends it is. All right, so we now have uh, Morag as an actual party member. Nice. Um, do we have anything immediately available? It doesn't look like it. A lot of just regular creatures. I like this area though. It's really well designed. Uh, reminiscent of what is it? The third, fourth area in Xenoblade Chronicles X, though obviously unique in its own right. I love the. Actually, you know, this kind of reminds me of the. Uh, the, like, winged-eared people's, uh, territory in Xenoblade Chronicles 1. I really need to sit down at some point and, uh, go play that game. I'll just do a full series on it, which would probably take an inordinate amount of time, but probably be worth doing just because. Okay. Uh, so we just, no, not skip travel. The, I could go back. Oh, that's shell. 
in the kitchen. I was just hearing something go thunk, 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 repeated, and I'm like, duh? Okay, so we have Morag, who has damage to to topple. She is a tank. Evade enemy attacks during driver arts. Let's switch that instead of the Hellfire, probably. Yeah, physical one target. Oh, break. Correction. It says evade enemy attacks during driver arts. How, do, how long does that last? I don't know. Because break is really useful as a tank. Because we can start toppling them. And we don't have to rely on Nia as much. To do the breaking. So I could do topple combos. Increases aggro drawn from driver arts. I... I'm gonna try and get rid of the blaze for the time being. If we're lucky, we won't have to worry about it. Played Xeno and Xeno X. You could help with that. I've actually played most of Xeno 1. Uh, the first half, I think. Uh, but still, a fairly su substantial amount of it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, increases damage dealt to toppled enemies by 50%. We'll switch that. There we go. Because extra damage to toppled enemies by 50%, that's situational. This is aggro. This is evasion. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. So we want to reduce... Which is the one that does break? This one. Because break is really useful because it extends combos. And... Let's do the aggro one. So I might actually use uh, Morag and Bridget for a while. Seeing as. Okay, increases agility by 15%. I think I can do better than that. Pitball, aggro reduction. Damage to higher level. Uh, bip, bip, where? Oh, I'm going this way. Uh, Do we want to sort by rarity? Might not be a bad idea. see. So absorbs critical damage as HP. Probably not that great. Extends break duration by 19%. That actually could be helpful. And we don't want aggro reduction. One of opportunity for canceling? No. Taunt resistance? No. We could do dexterity up to 26. I'm not necessarily sure uh, if it's any good. Okay, so how is she doing? So she's got decent weapons. That's good. Her affinity chart is very locked off. You'd think it would actually just automatically start you with some amount of trust, but I, I guess she really just doesn't trust Morag for reasons. Okay, aggro drawn from auto attacks. Let's, let's take this stuff off of God free. Uh, let's see, what else did we have? HP attack boost, not that helpful. Damage, damage heal? Yes. Let's do damage heal, because that's on Dromark, but that's useless. Okay. And I think we're good to go. Oh, right. Vess got the forestry. Now, do I, do, do I have to do anything fancy for Vess? Or is she just rank up automatically? It's just trust. Good. That's really good. Okay, because, yeah, I have to go... Well, do we take a short detour? I need to rank up Rock. Uh, and part of it is... Yeah, do you guys want to weigh in on this? Uh, seeing as... So I've actually maxed out uh, my Merc level right now. Uh, so I'm actually holding off on sending my guys out for any more objectives. Maybe... How about we get to the town, then we go back for side quests? I think that's a good compromise, because I gotta go do somewhat of a side quest before I can do the extra Merc levels. So I think what I'm gonna do, we'll get to the town, then we'll do uh, the, the Merc level stuff. Because part of the reason why I want to go back is uh, equipment. And then we'll be good from there. Finally managed to 
catch a uh, Xenoblade stream. Yeah, I usually don't stream this early, but I don't know. Today's Thursday. I'm feeling tired and very, very lazy. And so I figured, screw it. I'm just going to play this tonight. I was like toying with Slay the Spire because Thursday's their update day. But it didn't look like they actually had anything new. And then otherwise, like the only other games that have like come out that are interesting are like uh, Nine Parchments, which I'll probably stream when I have like a huge group of people. And uh, what's the other one? Spell Force 3, which actually looks fun, but I probably am not going to stream it. Okay, we do have a level 38 mid boss. If I feel like fighting him, he's gone. Interdasting. I think I'll skip it. We're just going to keep heading this way for the time being. I, I want to make it to that town, because we'll get new weapons. Uh, and honestly, I'm close to level 40, so the idea of fighting lower level monsters right now, just... I mean, it's not bad, but it's also not that necessary. Let's see. <laughs> Plus, you need to finish Xenoblade before tomorrow, so you have space for Monster Hunter. Oh, I keep forgetting that that launches tomorrow, necessarily. Well, luckily, the, the Monster Hunter beta is only a beta. So that makes it a little easier on me. Where the oh. Where the heck am I going? Why do we have two, two objectives that make no sense? And why are they, like, equidistant from each other? I have no idea. I'm probably just going to get ganked by something, or maybe I'm going the wrong way. I don't entirely know. Wait. In the Breath of the Wild DLC that's coming out, you get a bike to ride? That's interesting. Oh, there are two routes you can take to get to the town. I gotcha. Jeez, I feel like uh, I'm running along the Great Dragon Road, sort of. If you fall off, you'll never get back, except for then it's really easy to get back. But yeah, a bike in Breath of the Wild. I, uh, a lot of me is actually really disappointed I didn't wait until the very end of uh, the Breath of the Wild like DLC cycle to actually pick the game up. Because I think I actually would have liked Breath of the Wild a lot more had I waited. I mean, I liked the game a lot, but... The idea of just getting a bike would be hilarious, and cool. I, I'm just gonna die, apparently. Okay, I think I went the wrong direction. Where am I now? <laughs> oh boy, yeah, let's go the other way. I think the lower route is supposed to be the safer one, I guess. Oh, we also have a side quest on this island, so I'll go check it out. That's on the far side of the island. Let me see. Yep, there it is. I don't know what we have a side quest about over here, but sure. Okay, there we go. That's being solved. Uh, more or less... Oh, hello. Random Nopon being surrounded by weird slug things. Wait, that's not an opon. What is that? Oh, that's a blade. Let's see, wonder what rare blades have I gotten? Ah, uh, jeez, I can pull out the list right now. Okay, manage blades. I have uh rock, rock and bridge. It don't really count. We have Godfrey, Wolfric also doesn't really count. Veil, agate. Adenine, Vess, Sheba, Perun, Boreas, and Electra. I want some more. See, remember I can switch between them with no cooldown. Yes! Though, honestly, uh... Honestly, Sheba has, has still solidified her place as a grand badass of, uh... of my team. At least for now. Oh! We still got Tor out. I really should probably switch uh, him for Bridget. I'll probably switch him for Bridget until we can get. Um, I'll probably switch him for Bridget until we can get the. Uh, there we are. Until we can get the. 
Tiger Tiger. Because I gotta go do a bunch of Tiger Tiger. Oh boy. I just pissed them all off. However, I still do a ton of damage with this cannon. Even if we're gonna take some hits here. I might actually die. I think I'll be fine. These guys aren't that dangerous. I want to get another uh, cannon user, honestly. Okay, this should be close enough. Where did he go? Oh, he's he's just right there. I was like, where? who are we shooting? And the answer was not immediately obvious. Boom. God, that is effective. Apparently, I can hit myself with a blowdown. Either that or they knocked me down. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and the auto-cancel is just absurd. Yeah, for uh, for just being a cannoneer. Oh, did I remember to take my accessories off? I think I did. I'm trying to remember if I took off my accessories that were... Um, that were aggro-related. I hope I did. But yeah, it might not be a bad idea for me to go get one of those aggro reduction uh, abilities for Shiva. Because, uh, hoo -hoo, we are an aggro machine with this gun. That is a problem. Not that big of a problem, but, uh, well. Kind of hard to have my tank do their job when I'm just taking it all away from them. There we go. I when I first got one of these guns, I was just completely unconvinced as it uh, towards it like being a good gun, and then I think I got that like fifteen thousand damage just regular hit, and I'm like, oh hold on, hold on, we gotta back up here. That's just too good. Okay, so we want to do characters. What accessories do we have on? Strength and auto attack damage. Oh, I don't want to take those off. Oh, you know what? Here, let's just try. Let's just try doing this. Let's just switch in uh, this because Morag has a bunch of AOE. Uh, she has a bunch of like AOE tanking moves. Alua. Oh goodness, thank you. You really saved me. My name is Alua. You can probably tell I'm a blade. Nice to meet you. Ask what happened to her driver. Ah, you noticed. My driver is a wonderful young man named Ra Reed. He's still a novice driver, not yet as strong as you. Nor is he much of a swordsman yet. So when faced with danger, he tends to run away. But uh, Mox Aluka caught him unawares from behind and sent him tumbling down into the Cloud Sea. That's not good. Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm still alive, so he must be too. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. Do you think you'd be able to perhaps look for Reed? He might be fine now, but if you got attacked by a monster, he'd be a sitting duck. Leave it to me. Thank you. There's a chance that Reed may return under his own steam, so I'll wait here in case he does. Okay, that's a weird side quest, but sure. Let's see, to play this game, do you need to play the first one first? Nope. They are not, uh, they are not connected in any way, shape, or form apart from, uh, minor plot stuff and potentially... Well, actually, no. Uh, not even minor plot stuff, just, uh, not even lore. Um, overarching themes, I guess? That would be it. Uh, overarching themes and, like, very potentially some kind of, uh, secret spoilery thing at the very end of the game. But honestly, I don't know. I, my assumption is they have nothing to do with each other apart from name and team that worked on them. And, like I said, the overarching themes. Let's see, they aren't set in the same world, are they? Nope, not at all. They are completely separate in any, in any and every way. Uh, unless, of course, it turns out that they are set in the same world, which would be news to me. It could happen. Like, it, it could actually be true that this is the same world as uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1. No, runaway pile of money. But if that's the case, then, uh, then I will be surprised. This is pretty. I really love the environments in this game. Like, it's still kind of a travesty that Nintendo doesn't put out, like, a really... I would 
I would pay good money for the Switch Plus, which is just a Switch with a much higher graphics processor, so that you could have, like, a really, really nice looking uh, game like this, but actually realized to its full potential. Because, like, uh, how cool would this game be on, like, PC, f like, fully using uh, the graphics properties, or graphics pro properties, the graphics processors? Oh, it would be so nice. See, I'm just going to kind of ignore these things. And by ignore them, I mean piss them all off. <laughs> See, has Wander done any story yet? Nope. Not yet. I'm getting there. Though I'm probably going to be taking a bit of a side route. Did I just go full circle? I don't think I went full circle, but I might have taken a bad detour. Uh-oh. What have we pissed off? We pissed off Unique. The problem is, while I'm in combat, I can't see my map. So I actually don't know where to go. So there, there are these guys here. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna... It's probably out that direction. Oh yeah, there it is. That's it right there. I went one too far. I wasn't even really paying attention. So switch with an NVIDIA 1080. Yeah, sure. Like, I wouldn't... I would, I would pay good money for something that, like... Could make Breath of the Wild and, uh, ah, shit. Bird from behind. Let's see. A Switch Plus would have to be larger to handle it. I mean, I would gladly take a Switch that's, like, PS4 sized. I am, I'm, I'm not picky. Uh, when it comes to game consoles, I don't go anywhere. So the idea of, like, the idea of not being able to pick up my Switch and go anywhere is fine by me. It's kind of like, uh, the same thing if they actually decided to, like, I would also gladly pay for a, a gaming platform that was effectively the, um, uh, that was, like, effectively the 3DS, but, uh, just physical console because I don't I don't need to go anywhere I don't want to go anywhere I don't want to piss off the Falk so I'm gonna wait see but you can play the switch in my bed yeah or I could just drag up my beanbag chair and play my switch here like portability means nothing to me uh, and it never has I almost never take any of my things anywhere uh, I've got a teeny little laptop that I can and will bring with me to places because it was a hundred bucks So like if it gets lost stolen or broken, I don't care uh, But like a game console that I guess I should probably fight some of these things uh, a game console that I can't uh, Transfer the save files for just not really my thing Let's see so, I can switch cooldowns between both Pyra and Mithra. Okay, but they they do share cooldowns. So, it's not actually as cool as I thought it was going to be. I was really hoping that I'd be able to, to hot swap between them and... Uh, I'd be able to hot swap between them in like more or less chain abilities. But it does not work. Let's see. Well, I guess no. Shiba. There we go. One, two, three. Combo. I really like this cannon. It just does too much damage. And yeah, Bridget is a pretty effective tank. Really effective one. <laughs> 